so today I'm going to compare these two plant-based nogs. They're like a holiday nog, which is a plant-based version of an eggnog. Around this time of the year, around the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, I love to drink eggnog, but I don't necessarily like to drink eggnog throughout all of November and December because it's so heavy and the actual real versions of eggnog I can only drink like a couple times a year so when I have a taste for drinking eggnog throughout the week I like to get plant-based nogs and I am going to compare these two and see which one I like the best. So the first one is Elmhurst. It's rich and creamy oat nog. As you can see, I personally like the oat nogs the best because they're um, they tend to have a more rich, creamier taste than like an almond nog or anything like that. So let's see how it goes. Um, this is the rich Elmhurst Elmhurst rich and creamy oak nog. And it also is blended with cashews. So let's give this a try. So we're gonna shake, shake, shake. Let's pour it up, pour it up. What are some things that I've noticed so far? For this to be a oat nog, the first thing I noticed is when it poured out, it was more of like a watery texture, which is something I don't like. So let's hope it's good. <laughs> then I have the Kobani oat milk. I love Kobani products. Um, it's the oat Kobani oat milk oat nog. So this is how it looks. You'll see the oat nog flavor. And this one just says it's, it doesn't say anything about being blended with cashews or anything. So let's go ahead and get this a pour. Hmm, this one appears to be thicker. Okay. So I haven't tasted these two oat knocks yet, but one difference I already see is one key difference that I see is this one, the Elmhurst, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it, I think it's Elmhurst. This one is a little more watery, and I don't think I've ever really tried Elmhurst products before. The Kabani Oat Knob is, I can automatically tell it's thicker, it pours out a little bit slower because of the thickness. It, I think this one is going to be a little bit richer. The color of this is more white. The Elmhurst is more of like a uh, cream type of flavor. So let me go ahead and taste these two. So first, I'm going to try the Elmhurst. So the Elmhurst is giving super diet vibes. <laughs> it is very thin. It's like watery light. So if you don't like that, this one is not for you. When I drink an oat nog, I want something that kind of mimics pretty closely to an actual egg nog. And the taste is good for me, but the consistency is not it for me. I mean, the taste is, the taste is pretty good. It has that egg nog flavor, but then I taste like that nuttiness that it has in it. It has what? It's blended with cashews. So I do taste a little bit of that cashew flavor. If you're not big on nuts, nut flavors, or if you're allergic to nuts, you don't wanna drink this one. But this one, I would give it, um, on a scale from one to 10, I would give it a six out of 10. 
and I will say a six out of ten because I've tasted other plant-based nogs, holiday nogs, like um, almond nog from other brands, and this one does taste a little bit better than those, but it's not the best. I don't like the water, the watery consistency, and mm, the nutty flavor, it's okay. So let's taste the Kabani oat milk. Okay. Oat milk oat nog. <laughs> Mm. Hands down, this is a winner. This is a winner. Elmhurst cannot compare to Cabani. Like, this is the number one, this is the best plant based holiday knock I've ever tasted. So I'm going to continue to buy these and um, yeah, this has always just been a favorite. <laughs> you can't, I, I was wondering if Elmhurst would be Kabani, but no, mm -mm. The, the consistency is perfect. It's not overly, now you're not going to get the same thickness as a real eggnog, but the consistency is a little bit thicker than this one or um, a little bit thicker than like an almond nog consistency the flavor is perfect it reminds me of an actual eggnog or something that's pretty close the consistency was um i think i already said that you yeah, already said that the consistency was a little bit thicker it's very creamy it has a more like richness and flavor but it's not too rich i mean it's just right so Kabani, good job. I definitely will be drinking this with my family for the holidays. And yes, yeah, so I, this is something I do every year, you guys. I always drink plant-based holiday knocks throughout November and December because I love eggnog, but I don't like that heaviness of like, if I want to drink it a few days out the week, I just can't take drinking it every other day. So that's why I like to get a plant-based knob. Also, I will mention, I don't have it on me. I haven't bought it this year, but a great alternative holiday knob that you can also try is the, I think it's called Calif Califa Farms or Califia. I'll post a picture on this video or the wording or whatever that'll kind of help you. Um, but yeah, that one is also good, except it is a almond milk based holiday knob and that is about the only almond based holiday knob that I will ever drink that I actually like but um this one is my favorite but if you can't find this one you definitely got to try that um almond milk holiday knob it has a really good flavor it is a little bit on the thinner side like it's not going to be as thick as the Kabani but the flavor and everything else is perfect. And I actually like that better than this Elmhurst. Um, would I buy this again? No, I don't think I would, but this, this is a keeper. So I hope this helps you and I hope you are enjoying the holidays. Like I'm just trying to have good spirits these holidays. I've just been holiday vibing, having holiday vibes. I finally put my tree up. I didn't even think that I was going <laughs> to be mentally stable enough to even do that. But I got through that this year. And yeah, so I hope this helped you. And also, if you tried any other plant-based oat, not it doesn't even have to be oat nog. <clears throat> it can be any other plant-based eggnog let me know if you've tried anything else any other brands that i didn't mention in the comments or if you have ever made a homemade base uh plant-based eggnog send me share me your recipe in the comments let me know 
or if you've tried any of these let me know how you like them so i will see you in my next video and i hope you have a wonderful happy holiday and a happy new year and i will see you in my next video